Hi guys, this is Vicky from Tales from the Trails. In this video I'm going to show you how to capture your own wild horse. This does need a lot of patience and your best tool to start with is actually your binoculars. Because you can get the information on the horses. This is a Kentucky Saddler and she's grey. I'm assuming it's a she. <coughs> Possibly. Anyway. You can actually press the track button, just in case you lose her. But if you're slow enough and there's no distractions around, the horse shouldn't run away from you if you're going slowly. Yeah, okay, boy. My horse hates going through the bushes, I know that much. Get my lasso out. Is that a road up there as well? That doesn't help things. Where's she gone? Hey. There she is. Call her, gets her attention. You can slowly walk up to her. Calm. Oh, stay here. Keep calming oh, her. Wait. Whoops. Idiot. The roads really do spook them. Use my track, see which direction she went in. She went straight on. We'll just catch up to her. She's there, so she's really not happy. There's something around. Yeah. Call her, get her attention, slowly walk up, calm, Stay calm. don't run too far. Even my horse is upset so there's something around. You get close enough you can lasso them. Get off your horse. Come Keep down. calming the horse with square. When no you get close way. enough, you be able to jump on her, and then you use the L stick to actually no stay in the saddle. Keep your butt down. If the horse jumps to the left, turn the stick right. And the same the other way around as well. Keep calming the horse. They do calm down. She really doesn't want to. There we go. And now you've tamed your wild horse. She's still unbonded. Which is why she's playing up. She's still wild, technically. But if you press the L3, you can calm her. And she'll settle down pretty quick, especially if you walk around. Just like that. And if you've already got a horse, which everyone should have, unless it's like jumped off a cliff or something, um, target your horse, try and put a follow, and then it'll follow you. You don't need to rope it or anything like that. If you do lose your horse, um, it will usually turn up at your stable unless it's dead, and then it will just die. And unfortunately, you have to get another one. You can buy them from stables, but I always find it's more rewarding actually starting them from the wild. I mean, you go through four bond levels and you can unlock cool little tricks with them as well. Well, hopefully I've been informative. I'm sorry it's been so long because there's no guarantees it's a quick capture. Um, the location at the minute is here on the map. But I'm pretty sure this herd started off over here somewhere. And they do travel. They really do travel. If it's on one person's map, they might not be on yours. Simple as that. They could be somewhere else. So you get spooked by other animals and riders, roads, machinery, all sorts. You know, like the oil fields. The horses hate it. And they just run off. I hope this video has been informative. If you've got any video requests, feel free to contact me, either yeah, leave a comment or um, send a message. And I've done a few on my personal channel and I've moved over to this one because I'm getting so many videos on there I thought I'd make a separate channel 
for all the Red Dead ones because it is such a fantastic game. Thank you for watching, hope you like it and please subscribe.